More than 20,000 people have been evacuated as the flames move toward populated communities. From the ground to the air, we have live team coverage tonight. We start with KTLA's John Finolio, who's been out to the fire all day. John? Sharon Micah, Mother Nature is still calling the shots out here as the holy fire has gone from bad to worse this afternoon. High winds have fanned the flames dangerously close to homes, and if you take a look at the landscape behind me, you can see what I'm talking about. The fire coming in some cases just feet from homes here in this populated area in the hills above Lake Elsinore. As these wind kick, winds kicked up and fanned the flames, uh, we saw apocalyptic looking scenes like this one right here. And of course, you can see that pink material on the ground. That is the FOSS check, the fire retardant that air support have been dropping over these homes to keep the flames from spreading. Take a look at some of these images. Firefighters on the ground and in the air throwing everything they've got at the so-called holy fire. It's the heat and an abundance of dense, dry vegetation. And today, the wind that is making this blaze so stubborn. In some cases, wind gusts as high as almost 20 miles per hour, fanning the flames. The fire that began Monday near the Riverside and Orange County lines in the Cleveland National Forest, continuing to chew its way through steep terrain towards homes. Firefighters facing an uphill battle against the heat-driven fire with temperatures climbing toward the triple digits. Making matters worse, fire officials say this area hasn't seen fire activity in more than 40 years, which means there is plenty of fuel to burn. Now more than 20,000 residents ordered to evacuate some 7,000 homes in Tribuco Canyon and Lake Elsinore. It is a tough choice for so many residents out here. If they leave the evacuation zone, they can't come back. If they stay, they are potentially risking their lives. Have a listen. I couldn't sleep all night. I hear all, all the helicopters, you know, drop in the water, you know, and I keep walking outside the street. I lie down and I wake up. I can't, I can't fall asleep because it's all, I'm thinking my house is going to go down. And then suddenly this huge wind came out of nowhere in our direction and the whole ravine just lit up. And then it went from house to house to house and then it was in everyone's backyard. And we're thinking, whoa, where'd this come from? It was a matter of minutes from hours and hours all night waiting, and then in minutes it just came. Yeah. It's like a scene from a movie or a war zone. Police run down the street telling us we gotta go. And yet, you're still here, why did you stay? I, I gotta protect my castle, that's my castle, man. <laughs> And another life here, look, another look at the landscape charred by this wildfire. So far, 9,614 acres scorched with just 5% containment. Officials tell us they are hoping the wind dies down tonight so that they continue their air attack with helicopters. They say the terrain is too steep and too dangerous to have crews in place in many areas overnight, which means the firefight continues here and crews still have their work cut out for them here in the hills above Lake Elsinore. We'll keep an eye on this blaze and bring you another update soon. For now, reporting live, I'm John Finolio. I'll send it back to you. Thank you, John.